welcome to cad academy and in this video i am going to tell you about how to draw a bolt so i have some figures here so this is the projection of a bolt this is the isometric view this is the 3d view of a bolt so this is the m10 bolt and m10 thread where the pitch is 1.5 millimeters and the depth is 0.974 millimeter okay so here we have some data so this is d diameter nominal diameter i can assume the nominal diameter 10 so the total width of this bolt will be 2d that means 20 height of the head that is d okay and here this length is called w so let us check how to draw a bolt here now coming to autocad line and I am taking some lines here of 5 units then 10 units and then again 5 units or 5 millimeter the height of the bolt as I said that is 10 millimeters and on this side also that will be 5 10 and 5 I will join here okay now I have the end point here so like this i am joining this one and here if you see the drawing this diameter this is 1.5 into d okay the radius is 1.5 into d so here i will take a circle here i will take a circle center radius outside i will make a circle of 1.5 d that means 15 the radius will be 15 of this circle like this i will move this circle move I will take this point as the base point and then I will move it here okay later I will trim this part this one and this one again I will take line I will start from here I will join here and then the three point arc this is the first point second point and third point you can mirror this one or you can use the copy command anything so copy this and this okay here I will give the chamfer here in some bolt there are 30 degree angle but this time I am going to give 45 degree angle 45 degree angle like this and also on the opposite side I will give a 45 degree angle like this then I will do the trimming job trim 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 and trim okay now from here I will take a distance and I will take it 50 like this snap this point and here okay I will take this one I am going to mirror this one so modify mirror I will mirror it anywhere and then I will move this arc so move this and this like this okay here see the picture like this and the depth that is 0.974 so this is 0.974 and the thread I can assume that I have this is the half thread so the length will be 25 okay so here I will snap this point and I will come 0.974 here from this point and I will go 25 like this and later I will mirror this line okay I can use the chamfer I have already set at 45 degree so like this and on the other side also at 45 degree and I will trim the extra edges so I will draw a line here and this is the front view of a bolt okay so this is the bolt now the top view 
is very easy what i am going to do i am going to take a circle of radius 10 which is this one if i take the projection line like this and then i will go to polygon i will go to polygon and polygon number of sides that will be 6 and here this is the center it will be inscribed and like this I can define the polygon okay so I have to rotate the polygon I have to rotate this one in this fashion okay later I will delete this circle and again I will draw a circle for the chamfer now another circle of radius 5 that means dia is 10 for this and here you can see I will offset it the depth that is 0.974 so offset and the offset is only point 974 and like this okay so as this is a bolt I have to trim the inner circle in the corner you can trim it so I am taking a line here like this and I will trim this part as it defined this is a thread delete the lines okay now I am going to make the side view this one so what I can do I can take the projection line like this the depth we know the height we know that is 10 and here like this I can draw a line at the middle and the next thing I will do I will break this line on this point okay so these lines are separated now I have to take the sides for this I will take a line here from which I can I have to delete this line also and here I am going to move this line this as a base point and I will move this line here so I have two lines here you can see I will select the smallest line and I will rotate this one this will be the base point and I will rotate it in this direction in this direction okay like this so again I have this line here so I know the height this will be the height and like this like this again three point arc this is the first point and the midpoint this is the second point and this is the end point later I can delete these lines and this line also delete again I can copy this one or mirror like this okay here I have to trim this line okay like this so this is the view you can see and what I can do I can move this one I can move this one up to an extent and later I will copy this part copy copy okay let it be here move then rotate like this again move the midpoint and here okay again I'm moving this one a bit closer so these are the views three views of a bolt now here I will make the 
isometric drawing of the bolt so I will fix it at 30 degree and then I will take a line here of 20 units 20 millimeter and I want this height here so I will draw a line here and I will move this line base point and I will move this line here okay again on this side I will take 20 millimeters and like this again line this is the midpoint I will come 5 millimeters and then in the center of this line again line from here I will come 5 millimeters and at the midpoint on upper side also 5 millimeters and here again click on this point 5 millimeters and here later you can delete these lines and the head is ready so what I can do I can copy these lines copy base point at 30 degree and the height is 10 10 so join these parts I can copy this line copy base point here here and here now for isometric drafting I am going to on the isometric drafting option and I know this is my right plane so ellipse axis and isocircle before isocircle I want a line here to define the center now ellipse isocircle and here you can see and the radius is 5 okay now I can delete this line and I will copy this circle isocircle copy base point at 30 degree and the length will be 50 now I will join this one so quadrant and here quadrant again here quadrant to quadrant okay so as I know before that I will trim these parts trim here 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 okay now the thread okay as I know the pitch is 1.5 and here this is the thread okay so what I can do first I will copy this one base point on this direction at a gap of 1.5 okay and trim this one we have to trim this small part and a small part here okay now copy base point array so number of items suppose I want 20 and here at a gap of 1.5 enter now my thread is ready okay so this is how you can make the threads now what I can do for more accuracy I can take this distance and I will draw a line here okay now I will use menu bar okay and parametric geometric constraint equal so first I will select this line and then I will select this line and this line will be equal to this one okay now you can draw another isocircle here another isocircle here I will take this as the center and attain like this later you can delete this line and this line delete okay so this is how you can make the isometric view 
of the bolt okay now i am going to show you how to make the 3d view 3d drawing of this bolt so for this i am going to copy this one so copy as this is my head and i will make a circle here of radius 5 okay now what i am going to do i am going to extrude this one 10 millimeters i will turn off the grid and i will again extrude this circle 50 millimeters okay now for making the thread here I will take the helix so this midpoint has the center of the helix and the base radius that is 5 top radius also 5 and the turn height that is 1.5 as the pitch is 1.5 and the turns okay number of turns I say 20 so this is my helix what I will do I will hide this part hide okay and then I will come to the front view and then I will make the thread profile that is so view UCS and then line 1.5 and then the depth which is 0.974 and I will click here again line I will click here okay so what I'm going to do I'm going to join this one okay and then I will move or first I can mirror it yes and then I can move this one up to the start point of the helix like here okay now again this view what I am going to do I am going to align this one so rotate base point and view UCS rotate like this okay so my thread will be in this direction okay now sweep select this profile enter alignment no and select this as a path here you can see the thread is done now again end object isolation okay I have another here I am going to delete this one and here you can see I have this head and the bolt so subtract this is the subtract command I will select this one enter and this one enter now you can see the thread profile is ready okay this is how you can make the thread and for the chamfer what you can do I am coming on this view okay it's fine or on this view this is fine so view UCS and then I will take a line so I will start from here I will go one units as this is a 45 degree angle so I will go one units and again line from this point on this direction I will come one units okay then I can hide this object I can hide this object and I will join this one and join and then what you can do you can rotate this so I will use the revolve command and this will be the center like this okay 
enter then again end object isolation is back again subtract from this one enter this one now you can see the chamfer is ready and if I rotate this one you can see this is your 3d board so it took hardly five minutes to make the 3d board and keep watching CAD Academy video for more drawing in civil and mechanical engineering okay thank you